Rise Bridge at Foreshore. Behind me is the cofferdam which the team is building out into the river. It's basically a new area of land uh, where the shaft is going to be built connecting the Victorian sewer into the new Thames Tide Bay Tunnel. The cofferdam has been closed off and over the next three or four days they're going to be draining the water from it. Before that, the team has a very important job to do which is to rescue the fish that have been caught in the coffee dam and release them back into the river Thames. We've got the divers behind us working in the coffee dam who have got their huge nets. They'll use these to catch the fish, then transport them through the, uh, using the man rider over to the barge. There they will be examined, treated and released back into the Thames safely. quite unusual to be in the centre of London, so it's quite exciting. The aquatic team, we, we work on a wide variety of rivers, small rivers, larger ones, uh, uh, large lakes as well. To date we've found over 4,000 fish uh, and this is the third rescue. We've had uh, six species so far, roach, bleak, bream, dace, common carp. Common carp we were quite surprised by, so they'd normally be a bit further upstream. We've also had uh, crabs, so Chinese bitten crab, which are the invasive species, which we, uh, we can't go back into the river. The guys are back in the coffer dam now, they're just starting to, to set the same net out again. So the same net is 30 metres long, so they row it out from the pontoon in an arc and then bring, bring the net back round in a circle to, to trap the fish. We also have a different same net called a micro mesh same net, which has much smaller gaps in it, which would trap the juvenile and smaller fish. And, uh, yeah, see what we can catch this afternoon. This is a bit different, it's on a much larger scale. We wouldn't normally uh, be inside a coffer dam, quite isolated and being craned over in the man rider. It's quite unusual. So yeah, it's what we do, but on a much larger scale.